Hey guys, well today I've got something interesting to show you, as I always do, hopefully. This is a pulse sensor. So what we're doing is we're trying to figure out what your pulse is. We're not going to do it in numbers because I think that's a bit pointless if you're not using it for real testing. So I just want to be able to blink an LED uh, when, I, when I pulse, when my heart pulses, I guess. So I've rigged it up here. It's based on an infrared LED. Uh, you should be able to see that in the camera glowing because uh, it will pick up that infrared light. You can't see it with the naked eye. And then um, we've got an infrared uh, detector diode. So its resistance will change depending on how much infrared is, uh, is passing through it. Um, and the idea is that you put your finger on there and the infrared light reflects back from your finger and into the detector. Now, apparently this is true and it does seem to work, but when you have more blood inside your finger, so when your, whole, when your heart's pulsed, then um, it reflects more light, uh, which is an interesting idea. I don't know why that is the case, but I guess maybe it's more volume in your finger, uh, but it does work. So if I put my finger carefully on here, it is a bit difficult to get right. There we go. So you can see that LED will blink with my pulse. But if you shift your fingers around a little bit, you lose it straight away. There we go. Now we can also see this on the screen, essentially. I've rigged up a processing sketch to graph out the serial uh, results coming in. So we've got it hooked up to my laptop and it's kicking out the serial data, something like one every two milliseconds. It's kicking out some serial data to show what the, the sensor is recording. Now the LED part's really simple. What I'm doing is mapping the, uh, the sensor data into a, a value between zero and 255 for these little NeoPixels. So let's have a look at it on the laptop. So, if I carefully hold my finger on the sensor, then we should start to see my pulse on the screen. It's a little bit difficult to get your finger in the right place. Let's try that. There we go. It's a little bit hit and miss, I'll admit. So this is a circuit based off something that Kevin Dara did. So I'll put a link in the description to his video because he's far better at explaining the circuit than I will be. Uh, it's using an LM386, so it's an audio amplifier. Uh, I originally started using uh, small uh, little operational amplifiers. So this one's, is it a TL702? No, it's a TL071. And I tried um, an LM324, which was, really, really noisy. So actually this has been the best one yet. However, I'm going to be using this instead, which is a little tiny sort of pulse sensor. Uh, I got one on eBay, I'll pop a link in the description. And essentially it's this whole circuit, but on this chip. So it's a lot simpler to use and it's just got these little pins on there you can plug things into. So really, really a lot simpler than having all of this. Now I still need a microcontroller for what I'm doing, which is uh, creating a heart. So this is it. So it's a 3D printed heart. It's a little base that I made. So this, uh, this heart is a model that I've taken off Thingiverse. I'll pop a link in the description so you can download it yourself if you want to and print it. Uh, so once it's finished, I'll pop it up all, all on Thingiverse and, and credit it to the uh, original creator. <laughs> Whoops. But the idea is that these LEDs will go inside the heart. And then as you put your finger in the, the little hole down there, which is where this sensor will be, and so it'll be inside, inside there, you would pop your finger in and then it would, the heart would beat with yours. Just obviously, <laughs> Just with uh, like visual red, it's not gonna move or anything unless you drop it. 
but I just thought it was an interesting little project to, to play around with. All right, well, I think that's it. It was only going to be super quick. If you guys want to know more about how it works, then feel free to ask. And once it's finished, I'll let you know, but I just thought I'd update you.